Dozens of families of residents at a Melbourne aged care respite home have lost thousands of dollars in fees. The ABC has learned the home Mentone Gardens collected large deposits from some families but didn't put them into trust accounts. It's now in administration with debts of more than $4 million and the families have been told they won't get their money back. Here's our consumer affairs reporter Amy Bainbridge. Teresa Scarf was 92 when she moved into Mentone Gardens in Melbourne's southeast last year. We paid $30,000 down payment on a $250,000 deposit. The family thought they were paying a bond into a trust account for their mother's care. They also paid an extra $3,500 a month in fees until Mrs Scarf died three months later. When they asked for a refund of the deposit, not a dollar was returned. Mentone Gardens was placed into administration in June this year. Documents seen by the ABC show owners own more than $4 million, most of it to families. We'll never get our money back. My mother would have been very, very upset. How dare they? Would have been exactly her words. It absolutely underscores uh, the need for strong consumer protections, especially in this area of uh, essential care and services. Mentone Gardens is a Victorian government regulated supported residential service or SRS, providing respite and occasional care for the elderly. The Victorian Health Department has told the ABC that under Victorian laws any lump sums paid for care should be placed into a trust account. Investigations so far suggest Mentone Gardens didn't do that in many cases. The administrator has provided some initial advice indicating that the proprietor has not met their compliance obligations. The ABC has spoken to one family that paid $400,000 in deposits and another that paid $150,000. There might be a need for more stronger monitoring of the financials within an SRS. The ABC has contacted the owner of Mentone Gardens and the administrator. Both won't comment until the home is sold, which could be as soon as next week. Other families are reluctant to speak out because they still have relatives in the home. The administrator's investigations are ongoing. Amy Bainbridge, ABC News, Melbourne.